So in today's tutorial, we are going to be recreating this red dress, okay? The green one is the one that I made. The red one is the style inspiration, okay? So this was a tutorial request from my WhatsApp group. So I will be showing you the simple and easy method, beginner friendly, on how you can cut out your circle dress, okay? Without having any difficulties, okay? So if this is something that you are interested on, keep on watching and... Um, Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it and subscribe if you're yet to do so, okay? So if you're, my, if you're new to my channel, you are highly welcome. And if you're my returning subscriber, you are also welcome. So let's get into the tutorial right, real quick, okay? On the table, I have the tools that I need to recreate this pattern, okay? This dress. This is my pattern master, uh, my pen, my tape, and fabric, my pattern paper. So this is the fabric I will be using. This is crepe and it's, uh, it's not stretchy. It's not a stretch uh, crepe and also it's thick, okay? I have two and a half yard here. If you're my size, um, uh, my height is 152 cm. I use two and a half yard. But if you're taller than me, then I will advise you to get three and a half yard or four yard to be on the safe side, okay? So uh, we are going to be or drafting a half body scale so this is the simplest method i was talking about we're going to draft our half body scale before we start cutting it on the fabric okay so i have my pattern paper here the first thing i need to do is to create my shoulder line so this is my starting point and also my shoulder measurement so once i draw out my shoulder measurement the next thing i'm going to do here is to mark out my chest line if you don't know your chest line the length of your chest line divide your rainbow circumference by four by six sorry divide your rainbow circumference by six plus 1.5 inches so whatever thing that gives you add one inch to that to make out your chest line mine is 7.25 plus one inch gives me 8.25 and i mark my 8.25 here right now i'm going to connect this line to create my chest line so I made a mistake here, so that's why I'm canceling this, okay? So I'm going to level it my chest line and also my shoulder line, okay? So right now, the next thing I'm going to do after marking these lines, the next thing I will be doing now is to mark my half of my shoulder measurement. My shoulder is 14 divided by 2 is 7 inches. So I'll be marking the 7 inches right here, okay? And then I'll come to my chest line, I'll do the same thing. I will mark my seven inches as my chest line and afterward i will place my pattern master there to create a straight line to create my armhole line rather so here is my armhole line and uh, the next thing i will be doing now is to impute my neck weight so i will be using the standard measurement of three inches by 3.5 inches okay so and um the, I, it was supposed to be four inch but because I don't want to add a sewing allowance while I'm cutting on my fabric on the neckline, so I just reduce 0 0.5 inch away from there. So I'm marking uh, 3.5 inches here. So right now I'm going to connect all this dot now to create my neckline. So we are going to use the same uh, neck neck width, uh, the same uh, neckline for the both the front and the back. Okay, so three inches by 3.5 inches neck depth both the front and the back. I hope you understand this. So right now I have connected my neckline. So I mark 3.5 inch. So I'm indicating here 3.5 by three inches, okay? So the next thing I will be doing now is to mark my shoulder slope. I will come to my armhole line here. I will mark one inch below, all right? So after then I will connect this line to create my shoulder slope. So this is my new shoulder line. So the next I will be dividing uh, from this point to this point, I'll find the midpoint. I have 7.25, okay? So 7.25 divided by 2 is 3.6. So there is my 3.6 inches. From that midpoint, I'll be marking 0 0.5 inch in, like so. So before I will create my cuff, right uh, let me label it 0 0.5 inch before i will create my curve i'm going to 
impute my Rambo circumference first. My Rambo circumference divided by 4 is 8.5. And I added 1 inch. I will advise you to add 1.5 inches, okay? So right now, uh, once I'm done now with this marking, I'm going to get my French, uh, my pattern master to start connecting all this dots, all this line so that I can create my armhole curve. So I will switch to the curve part and then I will connect it, place my tip, my, the curvy part and create my armhole curve. So right now I'm done. The next thing I will be doing now is to add my sewing allowance. So I will advise you to add sewing allowance on your paper before you start cutting it on the fabric, okay? So that by the time you are cutting it, you will not forget to add your sewing allowance, okay? Please don't forget to add your sewing allowance on your paper before you transfer it to your fabric, okay? So right now I have added my sewing allowance. So the next thing I will do here is to start cutting the unwanted part that I don't need, okay? So yes. So this is all I need. So the next thing I will do, I will just place it on my fabric and then cut. Okay, so that is it. You don't need to struggle to start uh, drafting direct on your fabric, okay? So now that I'm done from here, I'm going to show you another way again on how you fold your main fabric. So the I have my half scale body here, okay, my chalk that we use, and then this is my fabric that already folded it into a triangle shape. So this is four pieces I have on the floor, which is the, the front and the back together. So let's assume in this pattern paper that I have here is my fabric. Okay, I have two and a half yard here by 60 inches. So 90 inches, two and a half yard is 90 inches. And then the, the length is by, by 60. Okay, so I just fold it into two. I just fold the 90 inches into two, which give me a 45 in, uh, inches now, okay? So the width I have here is 45 and the length is by 60. Okay, so the why we fold it like this so that you can have both the front and the back together, okay? So this is exactly what I have here, my front and my back on my fabric. So right now, the next thing you're going to do here is to fold this like this, okay? On a triangle shape. This is the way, this is the way you're going to get your triangle shape and also how you can cut your circle dress all right so that is what i have here on my fabric all right so right now i have my half body scale here so i will just place it find a point where it's going to accumulate your shoulder measurement just the way you see me doing okay please just pay attention and see what i'm doing so place your your half scale like this on the center front okay this will be your center front. Place the center front of your half scale to the folded edge of your fabric. And then I'm going to pin this down so that uh, whenever I'm, when I'm start taking my measurement, the length of my dress is not going to move away, okay? So this pattern that I'm using is a baby pattern. That is the little girl pattern that I'm using, okay? So don't get confused. The same method that you can use for adult, the same method you're using for the babies, okay? The only difference is the, the length. So I will be placing my tape on the tip of the shoulder of the half body scale like this. And then I will find the length. So what you're going to, your target is to take the measurement according to where they have the, the side, okay? That is the opening edge where the length stops. So I use... The length that I use here is is uh, is longer than the the um, the side, okay. So the length is longer than the side. So while I was trying to mark it, I realized that it's going to stop halfway, so it's not going to complete. So I I have to reduce the length, okay. So yeah, so I have reduced the length. So this is what I have. So for you to have a full circle shape, that is why you need to extend your tape above to start from the, the tip of this fabric. So if you do that, you're going to have a nice round shape, a circle shape. So please follow the video for uh, what I'm doing. I believe my explanation is not really clear. I don't know if it's clear for you. Let me know in the comment section, okay? But 
if my explanation is not clear please leave your comment below and let me know the part you don't understand so after connecting the round shape or connecting the lower part okay so i will place my my straight ruler like this okay and then i will connect it from the side like so so afterward i will be cutting out the part that i don't need so the length i use for myself is 34 inches for the baby the length i use at the end of the day it was 27 inches together with the folding allowance that is the uh, the hemming allowance okay mine is 34 together with my folding allowance and for the baby is 27 together with the folding allowance okay so now that i'm done cutting out so i'm going to take out the pin so i will separate the front and the back so we can work on the back okay you know that the back has an opening okay so here is the back so i will be taking out um uh 4.5 inches from the back this is the adult one so for the adult i will be using 4.5 for the baby i use 2.5 inches okay so in case you're making this for a baby and if you want me to make a full tutorial for the baby how i went about with the neck measurement and all of that please leave your comment below say baby tutorial okay the more tutorial i got for that i will make a tutorial for that so uh i mark after marking 4.5 then i mark 0 .2, uh, 0 0.5 inch inside but at the end of the day i did not use the 0 0.5 inch okay i just used 0 0.25 to join my facing okay so for the child uh 2.5 inch the length and then for adult is uh, 4.5 so afterward i just connect it and before you cut out place your facing inside the reason why i did not show you how i cut the facing from the adult is because i made a mistake so that is why i'm using the child on to correct my mistake here okay so place your facing make sure your facing is wide enough okay so you cut both from the neckline also to the shoulder so that you can be able to use the facing to turn out your neckline as well okay so i have cut that and then right now i'm just uh, trimming off the excess so this is the facing that you're going to use for the back so before you place your facing you need a strap because you know you know that there is a button behind so you need to create a loop where you are going to uh, pin your button on okay so here is the facing and this is the loop the, the strap that i created so the length of the the loop that i'm going to cut at is going to be uh is the total length is 1.5 inches i'm using 0 0.5 inch 0 0.25 to to stitch my uh, my facing okay so the total uh, the remaining length i will be having for the loop is going to be 0 0.5 okay so the round circle so before you place your loop mark 0 0.5 inch okay down just the way you see me doing before you place your loop on okay so right now i'm facing in my loop first before i place my facing make sure you pin it down to there before you place your facing but if you can control it without pinning it when you are going to sew then you can just do the same thing is still the same method mark 0 0.5 inch below first before you place your loop okay so right now I will, i'm just pinning it point by point here so that when i'm going to the sewing machine to join it it's not going to disturb me okay so that is what i'm doing here so i will go to my sewing machine from the neckline i will be sewing 0 0.5 inch then when i get to the the center back where my loop is is going to be 0 0.25 the same thing to the front 0 0.5 inch okay so this is the back pattern for the adult i've gone ahead to face in my button as well so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to place my my cent my front pattern okay to my back pattern from the shoulder so that i can join the shoulder okay so once you have done um facing in your loop uh, on your facing the next thing you will do is to join the shoulder together first before you proceed to any other thing so i will go to my sewing machine now to stitch in with 0 0.5 inch allowance for my shoulder and i will be back so i have done join my shoulder together 
So this is how it's looking at the moment, okay? And also, I have gone ahead to fix in my, my button. So what I'm going to do here is to uh, trim off, okay? First of all, this is how it's looking like. This is the inside. And also, I have gone ahead to weave a hemming gum on the on the facing so that by the time i iron it it's going to help relax uh without me forcing the hemming gum inside okay so the next thing i will do here is to bring out the stitching allowance so that i can um, trim off the uh, swing allowance so when whenever um when i'm going to iron it it's going to relax easily okay so that is what you need to do make sure you notch and trim off the excess of the seam allowance inside just the way you see me doing okay before you iron it down so after trimming off the seam allowance so what i did i went to my sewing uh, ironing table i ironed the the facing down and also i have cut out my sleeve as well i pinned one side of the sleeve to my uh, to my bodies okay so i will be showing you how i came up with the sleeves okay the width i use and the length so here is the second sleeves. So this is my second sleeve. And uh, the width I use for the sleeve here is 13 inches. That is when, by opening is 26 inches. Okay. And then the length is 16 inches. So here is the length 16 inches. I'll be using 0 0.5 inch to join my sleeves to the body and 0 0.5 inch to create a elastic channel okay they create a channel where my elastic band is going to go in okay so i have gone ahead to fix my sleeves to my bodies and also i have created a channel for the for where my uh, elastic elastic band is going to go in so i have two elastic here that i'm going to add to my sleeves how do you determine the, the length of your elastic? Take the round circumference of your bicep, okay? Mine is 10.5, so uh, so I minus 0 0.5 away from that 10.5, so I have here 10 inches, and you need two of these so that you can use for both of your sleeves, okay? So the next I will do now is to fix in my elastic into the channel that I created from the sleeve hemming line, okay? So that is what I'm going to do. So if you don't know how to do that, watch carefully to see what I'm doing, okay? So you will need, if you don't have um, a safety pin, you can use a needle, okay? So this is my hand stitching needle that I just used. I thread in the hand stitching needle and then fix it to my elastic channel. Then from there, I'm passing it through the channel just the way you're seeing me doing, okay? So it's as simple as that, so... Uh, if the video is playing too fast, you can um, adjust this the playback speed so that you can see exactly what I did. So when I pass in my elastic, so it fell inside, so I used my loop toner to bring it out. And then after then, you're going to pin it to secure it so that by the time you're drawing it out like this, it's not going to pull out from the end, okay? So afterward, I'm just trying to take out the 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 thread then and then i trim so i trim off the thread and also pin it and then secure it as well so the next thing i will do now is to before you take out the spin make sure you hold it down hold that space from the end you need to hold it very much like apply more pressure so that the elastic will not move out and then you're going to pin it to secure and then afterward i will just pin from the sleeve length from the side sleeve all the way to the end of my dress okay so i'll be going back to my sewing machine now to join my dress together okay so i have pinned all the boots they are the two sleeves fix in my elastic channel for the, the second sleeves and then pin it down okay so this is how it's looking like at the moment so the next thing i will do now i will go to my sewing machine to join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance on both sides okay so uh after then i will be back soon so guys we are almost done i already gone ahead to stitch the side this is how it's looking like at the moment i've also gone ahead to work on the hemming part i iron in uh hemming gum inside and then i fold it okay and uh, now we are going to work on how to place this strap okay the strap that we that it has 
that long strap for the adjustment by the side okay so what you're going to do you place your tape from the tip of the shoulder okay and then you're going to find out your under bust measurement okay so you from your under bust measurement you're going to add 0 0.5 inch okay to make out the length so my under bust is 12.5 and then i add 1.5 inches to that so i have 14 inches okay so that is where my strap i'm going to place my strap okay after finding out the length so from the center front you're going to mark out your your bust pan measurement divide your bust pan measurement by two and then add 2.5 inches that is where the beginning of the strap is going to start or the end okay so your bust pan measurement divided by two mine is seven inches divided by two is 3.5 and then i add 2.5 inches to that so that means the total space that i i kept from or away from my center front to the side is six inches my bust pan measurement divided by two is 3.5 and then i add 2.5 inches to make out the width that i want okay that is what you're going to do please if you don't understand this part replay it again so the next step now i'm going to come to my underarm where my sleeve joining is at this point okay so i'm going to come to this point i will mark six inches from that uh, point okay from where my sleeve uh, joining is i mark six inches below so the next thing i'm going to switch to the back you know as we did for the front we also have to find the point where your back your, your waist your back waist is okay so my waist from my shoulder tape to my waistline at the back is 15 inches so that is what i'm going to now i need to find out where that line is so where my waistline is from the back so i will place my tape at my shoulder tape line and then i'm going to mark my 15 inches down like so okay so afterward i'm going to from that point where i marked that 15 inches i will place my tape and i will mark my bust pan measurement so this is where the difference is, is from the back the difference is, is from the shoulder to the waistline and the difference is also the bust pan measurement you know the front uh after marking my bust pan measurement and then i mark away 2.5 inches before the starting of my strap but the back you don't need to mark away you just need to just place your tape mark your bust pan measurement divided by two and then you mark it wherever it stop okay so this is mine right so this is how it is so the next thing i'm going to do now is to repeat the same thing that i did from the other side of the underarm or the side joining okay and also i'm going to mark the six inches also like i did to the the other side i'll place my tape again from the underarm and then i'm going to mark six inches down below so basically that is what you need to do mark all this get all this point so it's going to be easy for you when you're going to place your strap okay you know that okay this is where my strap is going to go on from so uh i did not do the 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 second one from the front so i need to repeat it okay so whatever the what i did to the other side of the front so i'm going to do the same thing now to this side i'm marking my 14 inches here okay after then from that 14 inches line and then i'm going to place my tape like this and then i will mark six inches inward like so so here is my six inches so basically that is all you need to know about this part okay so here is my two strap that i'm going to use for this tutorial okay the strap that i'm going to use to attach to my dress and the width of the strap i have here minus the stitching allowance that i already stitched is 0 0.6 inches okay it's not up to, it's more than 0 0.5 it's 0 0.6 inches i cut about 0 0.75 so and then i stitch in with 0 0.25 right so and the length of this strap is by is 79 so let me still confirm the measurement so that we will be on the safe side okay so at this point i will suggest if you're on a taller size i will advise you to increase the length of your uh on, on your strap okay i have 79 inches right here and i have two straps that i'm going to use to connect the both sides okay so the next thing i'm going to do here is to start placing my strap on my dress 
So here is another uh, helpful uh, tip I'm going to show you or uh, ask you to do is to draw a line just the way you see me doing, okay? So this line now that I draw here is going to help me when I'm going to stitch, stop stitch my strap onto my dress. Then before you place your strap, make sure you find the midpoint of your strap and then you're going to use the side seam allowance as your guideline. Use the side seam also as part of your uh, the midpoint of, of the dress, okay? So you're going to place your strap like that and then I pin it, okay? So let me show you how I actually pin it if you may be wondering how did I get to <laughs> pin my strap. To be honest with you, it was not easy. But lucky for me, you see this strap, that, uh, that's, that uh, line that I drew on the dress, it was actually very helpful. So even without the pin, you can actually stop stitch on your, your dress without uh, worrying about the strap moving to another line, okay? So once if you draw on your dress, you are going to use that as a guideline and then stop stitch your strap onto your dress. Okay, so once I'm done pinning this now, we are going to head back to my sewing table so that we can sew this. I will so that you see how I'm going to stitch this together, okay? So right now I'm on my sewing machine and what I'm doing here, I'm trying to spread my dress wide open. The lucky part I have on this dress is that I was able to spread it wide open be because this, this is an... um and uh, a circle dress so it was quite easy so first thing i'm going to do here first i'm going to stop stitch my strap from the side joining so i'm trying to follow the the joining allowance from here okay you see my the side joining where i join my my front and back by the side so i'm using that as a guideline i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say or trying to do here and then from my my strap that where I found the midpoint at the midpoint that is where I'm stop stitching it to onto my dress from the side seam. Okay, so from the point where I mark that six point five two from the underarm. Okay, that is what I'm I'm, I'm talking about. The point where I mark that six point five from that underarm to that is where um that is where I place my my strap from the center point or from the midpoint of my strap onto my dress okay so i stop stitch, uh, stitch it by the side so by doing this is going to help me even without the pin and also since i have already draw out that line so i'm not just going to use this uh, uh, use it now as it is now to start stop stitching my strap onto my dress okay so try to uh secure your strap from the midpoint to the side seam okay so that's what i'm trying to say i don't know if you understand this but i'm even finding it difficult to explain myself here but i hope you understand what i'm trying to do so so whatever thing i do here i'm going to repeat the same process to the other side of my dress okay so basically uh that is kind of where come to the end of this tutorial okay because if you're not going to join a strap onto this dress it means that we have already done with this dress about how many minutes ago okay but because we need to attach this strap to this dress so it's going to take another quite time so in case if you don't want to add strap to the dress then you are your dress is already is ready to to wear okay so if you are still watching to this very moment i want to say a very big thank you and i hope you understand my explanation i hope you were able to follow up with this process if you ever tried to make this dress please leave the comment uh, below let me know or you can join my whatsapp group and let me see your recreation seriously guys i want to see your recreation how did you guys come up with it okay let me know the process so basically that is the end of this tutorial so this is the finished look this is how it's looking on on my body i was able to try it on because i know you guys want to see the finished look on my body so definitely this is it okay so follow the process like i said definitely you're going to get something looking like this all right thank you so much one more thank you so much once again uh have a beautiful day have a good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching me from and um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.